بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على المؤوث رحمة العالمين نبينا وحبيبنا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بارك الله فيكم first of all I ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to bless you in this month and to put barakah in you and your life and to grant you uh, success and to make this Ramadan uh, for you, you know, and uh, all of the Muslims, the best Ramadan we ever saw in our, in our life. And uh, I will be, inshallah, uh, uh, speaking about the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Al-Quran. And uh, uh, what I would like to start with is the fact that uh, Quran, the Quran is the Book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this uh, noble month of Ramadan. Allah says, Shahr Ramadan in the Injil of the Quran, who the Lindasi, or by Yanati Mir of the Awal Quran. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the month of Ramadan is the month that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Quran in it. So Quran is revealed in Ramadan. This means that this is a month that somebody should be reciting the Quran more and more. Jibreel alayhi salam used to come to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam all the way from, from the heavens to sit with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam every Ramadan to recite the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That tells you that definitely it is really crucial and important and vital for a person to focus more on the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than any, anything else. Jibreel used to come in, the, uh, in Ramadan and in the year the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam passed away, Jibreel came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam twice. They completed the Quran twice. Every month they used to complete, uh, every month of Ramadan they used to complete the Quran. So as I said, the Quran is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is the most excellent statement that somebody can say in order to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It has so many virtues, countless number of virtues. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, if uh, a person recites a letter from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will be given 10 rewards. This is before and after Ramadan. He will be given 10 rewards. So imagine if you say Bismillah, you will be given 30 rewards. Just Bismillah, Bismi Allah. Bis, uh, I'm sorry, Bismi. Just by saying Bismi, you know, Ba, Sin, Mi, you will get 30 rewards. If you have the word Allah, the alif has 10 and the lamb, you have two lambs here, they have 20 and you have, uh, you have the ha, you have uh, also another 10. So 40 reward to be added to the bismi, which is 30 reward, that means 70. Just bismillah, you get 70 rewards. By the time you finish the bismillah, you get around 190 rewards. Imagine if you completed the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how much would you get? And I'm talking about recitation of the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before and after Ramadan. In Ramadan, we are told by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the rewards are multiplied. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when he talks about fasting, he says, Al-Hasanatu bi ashram al-Tariha ila sabi'l mi'ati bi'atin ila ad'afin kathira. According to the in, intention and the sincerity of a person. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, one good deed Allah SWT will multiply it by, by 10, up to 700 uh, times, up to any uh, multiple times which have no end, except Allah SWT who knows the end. So if you read Quran in Ramadan, the, the reward is not like the reward of reciting Quran before or after after. And as such, we shouldn't miss this opportunity because my dear brothers and sisters, uh, you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed this Ummah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he promised to make us the best in the hereafter. In this life we are the best and in the hereafter also we will be the best. One of the means for us to attain this, uh, 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 what do you call, a gift by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to uh, utilize opportunities and chances and seasons like the month of Ramadan. So Allah has given us these chance, chances and opportunities so that we can uh, supersede the nations that came before us. So one of the means for us to do this is to recite the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the month of Ramadan. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, الَّذِي يَقْرَعُ الْقُرْآنَ وَيَتَتَأْتِعُ فِيهِ لَهُ أَجْرًا The one who recites the Quran and he finds it very difficult you know, for him to uh, read the Quran, 
meaning the recitation of the Quran is not that easy for him. The Prophet said Allah will give him two rewards. You know, reward of reciting and the reward of uh, being patient. But for the person who is an expert in the recitation of the Book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ma'asafaratil kiramil bara. This one is going to be uh, with a safaratil kiramil bara. The special angels that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created for that purpose, they will be walking with him wherever, wherever he goes. That's the virtue of somebody who is reading Quran and try his best to learn the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and become expert. So this is this itself is enough to motivate us to engage, you know, in the recitation of the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to try our best to be among the people of the Quran. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, Ahlul Quran, whom Ahlullah wa khasatu. The people of Quran, they are the people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the special closest people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are the people of Quran. Ahlul Quran, whom Ahlullah wa khasatu. The people of Quran, they are the special people, you know, and the most closest people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, yani, somebody who is uh, uh, mentioned by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to be the amongst the people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is more than enough as a motivation for all of us. And on top of all, my dear brothers and sisters, is the memorization of the book. Not just being an expert in reading, but having the, the best of the tilawah of the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but trying your best also to memorize the book of Allah SWT. This is a priceless virtue that Allah SWT rewarded this ummah with. It is one of the most excellent uh, gifts that you should give to children before you leave this life. You give yourself first and then your, your family members. If you memorize the Quran, you will be counted amongst the Ahl Quran. The Prophet SAW said, the parent of somebody who memorized the Quran will be brought to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, uh, clothe them with a dress. And this dress, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, is greater, than, is, is greater than the dunya and whatsoever in terms of value. It's more valuable than the dunya and everything. Subhanallah. And this is what is given to the parent of somebody who memorized Quran. If this is the reward of the parent of somebody who memorized Quran, and they are given this uh, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of the, 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 the child they have who memorized the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then what do you think about the child himself? If this is given to uh, the parent, then what do you think about the child himself? Who did memorize the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If you want to know his reward, listen to this hadith of the Prophet وسلم, which I will close the, the talk with it. The Prophet وسلم, said, Yuqalu li sahib al-Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to the one who memorized Quran in this life, Iqra wa rataqi wa rattil kama kunta ti rattil fi dunya. Inna manzila, manzila ka inda akhir ayatin taqra. You will be told on the day of judgment, read and go up as you read it. You know, so the reading will elevate you up, take you up. So that means his Jannah is not going to be like the normal Jannah given to anybody else. Allah will ask him to read what he memorized. And by the time he is reading, he will be going up. With every ayah, the Prophet said, Allah will give him a level of Jannah. Every ayah. Every ayah. So Allah will tell him, read as you used to read in this dunya. Because the last, the the, 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 the the thing that will determine the place where you will be, uh, what do you call, uh, occupying, is the last verse you memorize in the day. The last verse you're going to read will determine the, the place where you will be staying in the day. That's why the scholar said, we are expecting the person who memorized the whole book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uh, be among those people who will be occupying the Firdaus. And the Firdaus is the best a place in general. It's the best place in general. It, it also has level of it. But subhanAllah, you know, those, you know, uh, is a place which is closer to the arch of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet said the roof of those is the arch of Allah. 
is the best Jannah, he said, and is the highest level of Jannah, and is the best Jannah, the Prophet said. And he said, all the rivers in Jannah, they are coming from, from the rivers. Even if there is nothing in Fidelsi except the fact that you will be next to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is more than enough. This is more than enough. The Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us good and easy on our best. So I do believe this is more than enough for us to get motivated in this month of Ramadan to read the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So you will be rewarded in many ways. Reading the ayat will earn you reward. By every letter you have 10 rewards. And also focusing and having for sure and tadabbur of the book of Allah SWT carries it well. Allah SWT grant us good and success in life. And I hope you could have been See you next week, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.